This ain't our shit. I don't know no brother on none of this shit. So if the motherfucker don't get together, hell yeah. Fuck some shit up. Uh, I fuck the police. Just like in WA said they'll fuck the police and the 502. Fuck these niggas, man. Uh, uh, not to say you can't be politically conscious about it, but right here, you can stop the police right here, right now. You know what I'm saying? You, you, a, lot of y'all, a lot of y'all in this crowd can knock somebody down, but y'all ain't knocking them down for the right reasons. People that's knocking us down in these uniforms, you know what I'm saying? It's easy to go out, go listen to something, and go knock somebody down. What about when it means something? You know what I'm saying? What about when it means something? So it's real easy to do this thing about overseas. Fuck you gonna do about Oakland, man. I wanna see what all these people out here, what y'all gonna do about Oakland. And I hope to see y'all on the next police terrorism killing. Cause we know this ain't the first or the last, but the only thing that's gonna stop it is a sustained movement, straight up. Straight up. All I say to him and what I say to everybody, it's more than one way to skin a cat. Right, and so we got to come together. We're going to have a strategy session. We're going to have some conference calls. We're going to meet, and we're going to bring the best thinking that we have. We got to change some laws. We got to organize. We got to protest. We got to speak. We got to write. We got to put stuff on, on the mic. We, gotta, we might have to sit in. We might have to take over. We might have to do whatever we got to do. But whatever we do, we're going to do it organized. We're not gonna come in half ass and do some bullshit that ain't gonna really make no change in our community. Because we see people die in these streets of Oakland who was not ready for the retaliation, the brutalization that cops are showing us every day that they will smoke us in broad daylight. We are, I'm not sending none of my babies, none of them out to die again until we put some of our best thinking and our best efforts into making sure we can protect ourselves. Talk a little bit about the importance of that and how you feeling about Oscar Glenn and, and is this a one-time thing? Well, I've been doing this since um, the writers' trial. You know, when For people that's outside the country, what's the writers about? Well, it was a group of Oakland police officers who was running, running wild and rugged through the streets of Oakland, setting up um, young black males, beating them up, playing dope on them, and putting false charges on them. So yeah, I've been doing that since then. And um, well, my thing is, we all are Oscar Grants. Every black male and Latino out here is Oscar Grants. It's not just about this particular brother, but it's just all about all of us. It's very charged. Nah, we still here. I'm a, I'm a product of Oakland, original Oakland Black Panthers. My mother and father was Black Panthers. And I'm ready, you know, to fight for my folks and be out here and try to get these brothers out here and stand for something, you know, not about selling dope or standing on the corner or whatnot, but actually stand out here and stop these police from killing us. Because once I leave here by myself, I can get pulled over and the same thing can happen to me. So we got to stop the mentality of not just Bar Police Department, OPD, Hayward PD, San Francisco PD, every, all these police agencies. You know, you, you talked about not being afraid. And you know, one thing, a lot of people in this town ain't afraid of the police. How do we charge? How do we really flip that? It seems like that's what's really going on. They constantly trying to instill fear, and a lot of cats like yourself well, ain't going for it no more. But it would do good if, when people see, like, if people see something going on, if, you know, if I see the police actually doing something wrong to somebody, I'm not just going to stand there and watch, you know, and just be a witness and, and don't come forward and ever say nothing. You know, just let them brutalize or beat somebody up or pull their dick pants down and search them and everything. I'm going to actually go there so if people stop being uh, bystanders and stop being wall, wallpaper, wallflowers, and actually go there and start doing something when they see these things happening, then start taking action. These police will stop doing some of the stuff they doing, but if I know I can come and do something to you and nobody ain't gonna say nothing, or nothing, nobody will never come to the courtroom to be a witness for this person, they gonna continue to do what they do. That's real talk right there. So, so if you could give people that are watching two or three marching orders, what would that be? Oh, well, thank you. First off, number one is to Stop being scared of those that look like you or those that don't look like you. You know, it been many times I've been, been on board and the board train been full and I got open seat and nobody was sitting next to me. You know, I can have a 
tie and suit on, but nobody was sitting next to me. So people, first off, you know, everybody need to come together and, and just be united. Second, don't be afraid. Stop being afraid. You don't have to be afraid. You are, this is supposed to be the land of the free. You're supposed to be an American citizen. We're supposed to be out there in Iraq, supposed to be giving freedom to Iraqis. Well, we right here in Oakland. I want some freedom to be able to walk down the street or drive my car by being able to get stopped by the police department. Third, you know, stop. I don't got no third one. Just stop being quiet. If you see something wrong in your community, be it the police or a criminal, stand up and do something about it. That's what the original Black Panthers did. That's what, if, we, if it wasn't for Martin Luther King and all the other brothers, we wouldn't have what we have now. Stop being afraid. People are just afraid. So you don't have to be. That's it. That's real talk. We appreciate that, my brother. What's up? All right. Peace. All right.